Never before seen footage from the set of Rust, where live ammunition was later found to have been present. One more, one more, one more. Filmed in the days before the fatal shooting of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. I'm getting up. Then when he drops his arm, Helena get out of, he drops his arm. The clips obtained exclusively by NBC News show Alec Baldwin rehearsing, working with firearms Come and giving here. directions Come to crew here. members, Hug including me. Hutchins. And everyone rolling, doesn't rolling. need to be right rolling. here, like in the path of the gun. Could you please move? Just want to be over him a little bit so I can yeah. see him. Now, wait a second. If I'm going to shoot right, you want to go on the other side of the camera? I don't want to shoot toward you. According to a source familiar with the matter, these videos are among dozens provided to special prosecutors days before they announced plans to recharge Baldwin with involuntary manslaughter. The footage is just a portion of the evidence that could be presented before a New Mexico grand jury. NBC News has not seen the rest of the videos. You got a boy your own, Marshal? Baldwin's legal team and the prosecution declined to comment on the videos, which show the star expressing concern for crew members' safety. Okay. And giving orders on the low-budget set. I asked for the blanket over here, didn't I? <clears throat> like three times. Is there a blanket right there now? What's that cloth on the ground there? Put it over here now. A source familiar with the matter telling NBC News that prosecutors believe Baldwin is arrogant, hoping a trial would humble the actor, and were frustrated with his public comments on the matter. I, I feel that, that, that uh, someone is responsible for what happened, and I can't say who that is, but I know it's not me. This morning, a rare look behind the scenes of the troubled production and the actions of its leading man. The grand jury was originally scheduled to be called today, but sources tell NBC News that the judge wanted more time to review the materials in the case. Now, it is expected to begin before the start of Hannah Gutierrez-Reed's trial in February. All right, Chloe, thank you so much. We want to turn now to NBC's senior legal correspondent, Laura Jarrett. Hi, Laura. Good morning to you. Yes. Laura, good to see you. So if the prosecution chooses to show this video, what do they think will be gleaned from this? We heard some of the words that Alec Baldwin was saying on the tape, and we also saw the rest. So part of the thing here to be mindful of is these are just clips. We don't know what came before mm -hmm. these clips. We don't know all that they have, right? They might have other things that show him in a different light than we've just seen. But at least in that clip, when he says to the camera, I don't want to shoot you, that's a pretty powerful statement, I think, for the defense. And if they're showing the full picture to the grand jury, we don't know yet how they'll deal with that. But to say that, you can just hear the defense in opening statements saying, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, mm -hmm. does that sound like somebody who's reckless? Does that sound like somebody who doesn't care about safety on set? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Laura, do, do the prosecutors actually have to show this evidence to the grand jury? Generally, you do have to show anything that could negate guilt, what's known as exculpatory evidence. Now, again, the presentation is completely within the prosecutor's hands. They're the ones who decide what the grand jury hears and sees. But if they don't show this video and the defense later finds out about it, then they can try to move to dismiss to say, you didn't say, you didn't show the full picture. Well, let's just take a step back because what a wild road this has been. <laughs> I mean, Alec Baldwin was initially charged. Then there, the charges were dropped. There were other issues with the yeah. type of charges. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has been, to use a legal term, a hot mess. Mm -hmm. So how unusual would it be for someone to be charged, charges dropped, and then charges reinstated. The whole thing is highly unusual from top to bottom with this. I think the key is what other evidence do they have? Because it's you can bring a case again. That's that that's not unheard of. But you need to have something really powerful to now rebring the char recharge him and, and do this all over again. It needs to be something pretty significant. And we still, guys, do not know how that live round got on set until mm -hmm. Chloe, of course, reports it. All okay. right, our senior legal <laughs> correspondent, Laura Jarrett. Thank, thank you. you. And by the way, you can find more on this case and. And you can see that video as well from the set on NBCNews.com. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.